growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I was. Welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast, and you know how we do it, you know what I'm saying? We bring you the hottest artists in the city, you know what I'm saying? The legendary, the icons, and the up-and-coming artists around the Metroplex and through and out the city, you know what I'm saying? But today, you know what I'm saying, we got some good treats, you know what I'm saying? We got some good lineup, lines of questions and everything, and we got a good special, special, special guest here today coming all the way from the Wax Town, you know what I'm saying, representing that watch at you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to introduce him like this, you know what I'm saying? You know, that nigga that just soar and just fly, you know what I'm saying? I got my boy T-Hawk in the motherfucking building today. <laughs> Nothing much, man. Chilling, man. See, I'm glad you came to the compound, you know what I'm saying, to get lit with me, even though I'm smoking by myself, you know what I'm saying? But it's, yeah. it's, still, it's, hey, it's still more for me, you know how I do it. But I want to just tap in for the people out there who don't know you. I want them to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're here. Right. So the ones who don't know you, please let them know who you are and where you're from. Hey, man. It's T Hawk. Go by Hawk em Down. Whatever you want to call me. Down, I'm from Walks Hatch, Texas, the East Side. East East Wax? East Wax? I said, man, I said the comments. I, I was looking at uh, Looney Loon comments. Everybody's talking about the hash town in the building. Yeah, hash town. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. They say they in the motherfucking the building. Man, they so, know what's up. We on the map. Man, so they act like we not. We on the map. Nah, y'all on the map. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we making some noise. <laughs> Already. So what you? What brought you to the D? Shh. We been in the D. Mm. We have been in the D all okay. our life. You know, we have been in the D. It's right here. Right, 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 right around the corner. Yes, I see it too. You know what I'm saying? Rip it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah, for real. So how long? So what? What inspired you to do music? Where Where y'all started from? Uh, what inspired me? Yeah, yeah. Just, mm -hmm. just uh, I ain't gonna say it was inherited, but you know, going to church, playing the tambourine. My daddy was singing. Then I started writing in a little journal. Used to like writing uh in English class, writing little books or whatever, write telling stories. And I noticed I could tell stories. Right. Then uh one day I stole a booster CD out of my brother's car. We couldn't really listen to rap music like that. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. We y'all Jehovah's Witness? Nah, oh, nah, nah, okay. nah. Jehovah's right. Witness. Well, my mom was, you know, she just go to church. We, okay. She ain't trying to hear all that. Yeah, I hear you. I feel that. So uh stole that booster CD, started listening to that booster. Like 2004. 2004? Okay, so and that's. Green and yellow season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before he was. For my thugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my right thugs. There. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I started writing my own little tracks, writing my own little thing. <coughs> Spitting it to my brother now. Oh, but then just freestyling. Man. Okay. Hold up. Yo, yo. How got the syrup in the cup? Hey, hey you know it's going down. Going down. Hash time. Hash you know what time. Saying? That kind yeah. of shit. Yeah, that's my type. That's what. My hey. cousin they were doing that shit, uh, we used to freestyle in the park. What Dang Dang doing right now? Mm hmm Yeah, we were doing that. Right. You know, in that the park. same thing Dang doing right now. That's what a nigga grew up doing. That was I think that was I think And that, he from the he they from the same place. I think that was a Texas thing though. That yep. freestyle, they just going around and just like, man, hold up, uh -huh. you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, yeah. The, all that that was just that was just Texas period, even though they say H Town, but that that was a growth all around Texas. So who else? As you coming up, was inspiring you in your city. Who was who was like besides Boosie, was turning you on to rap as well. Uh, Vaseline was rapping. He dropped that around here. I used to have to watch from a distance. Okay. Cause I ain't always just living walks hatch, so I used to always see everybody doing this and this and this and that. And I couldn't wait to get back down there. Okay. But yeah, Vaseline. I used to call on the phone, chop it over boss on the phone, through my brother, shit like that. Right. So. Uh, uh, Dang, who else was rapping? Yeah, who yeah. Influent. But really, it's just playing with instruments, playing the drums in church, the piano, tambourine. Right. Yeah. I already had a sense for music, but just straight rapping and just telling your stories. I don't know, I kind of just picked it up as just I went along. Up. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. I know we had, I know I had a lot of influence back out of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Did you have an influence out of Dallas? Oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah, a whole bunch of influence in Dallas. Big Tuck then was rapping. Yeah, Big Tuck, definitely. Yeah, DSR. Yeah, Big uh, Tuck, DSR. He working on a new, he just uh, did a um, music video the other night. Yeah, that's who I need to tap in with, tap mm -hmm. in. Big oh, yeah, Tuck, Big Tuck, if you see this, tap in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. DSR for sure, though. DSR, DSR. who else was? Mm -hmm. Who else was popping back then? 
We even them drop. We used to be dancing and jigging, oh, though. You know, yeah. whatever that that oh, little wave. That wave. They call me Mr. Hit them. They call me Mr. Hit them. Yeah. I see you. I see you up with Mr. Hit that last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel y'all crunking that bitch. Yeah, we were crunking that bitch. Yeah, I see y'all were crunk. Where y'all was at? Uh, Pentagon, Pentagon Dallas. Pentagon. 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 What, what the Pentagon like? I had a I seen that bitch. I had been advertising. I ain't been up in there lit. Cause everything they said is. Cause everything they said is. Yeah. What better than V Live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Nah, I, nah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's it probably a little bit more bigger. It's bigger. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Well, it's a whole lot bigger. Ooh. I don't know. I really don't even be going yeah, to clubs yeah, like that. Yeah. I go when well, I'm trying yeah. to do some music or something. Like, I ain't really trying to go to the right. club. So who you been networking in the city? Cause I seen now, I, I see you got history in the city. You know what I'm saying? Well, I been. It ain't that I'm just networking. It's just I be outside. Right. You know, I be. I might bump into this person, bump right. into that person. Right. But. Boy, it's just networking, reaching out. We just, I really just be doing it on my own. Right, on your own, no management, no nothing. Just, nah, just, just pull up. Pull up or just be just doing it how we doing it, pushing right. it how we push. Where the name T-Hawk come from? That's my real name. That's your real name, Terrence. What, 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 is it? what is it, Terrence? What? Yeah, Terrence Hall. Oh, okay, we talk, put, okay. put the government out there. Nah, you know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> hey. Nah, I was playing football one day. And, uh, I was playing football and I think it was like homecoming in the Dude, they was just show. They always just showed me so much love, and the dude right. was like Terrence the Hawk Hawkins, and oh, okay. that's the first time it ever just hit me. And they called my daddy. That you know, just right. It, it just all just went together, had went together. So what you was ball or you was football? Football. Football. What was your position? Receiver. What? They know. They know. Well, why receiver? They know. Okay. Look all me right. Up. All right. I'm not be saying. I'm doing my now, research. All they gotta do is just type me in on Google. They'll see. Yeah. So what? So what? What? What 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 um? That what I was doing though, playing that. What, what made you stop? Uh, can't get right. Right. Went out to college. <laughs> that college life though right was thing. like, yeah, not doing the right thing. Then I got hurt. The boy, is boy. And then, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You know happy. Yeah, I know how to be. Side track. Man, shit. But so that, that, was, that was life right there. So that's what you always wanted to be before music. Uh, what you always wanted to be besides rap? I just wanted to be lit. Lit. Start. Right. I just wanted to be a t up right. turn. Right. Niggas say, know? put me on TV. God yeah, damn, yeah, shit. That's, that's what it is. That's it. Nah, for real. For no real. matter how you get there, this bottom line, that's what I want to be. So, what, when did you get in the studio and, and create your first project that you was like, for sure, this is coming out and I'm proud of? Like fourth grade, third fourth grade. grade. Damn. With Lil Her. Okay. We okay. running around outside. Okay. It was like, oh, well, I think it was something like Beast Mode ENT. Me and Lil Her went to uh, J Mix Studio, recorded a song, and they used to laugh, though. We used to be in there rapping, they used to laugh. It was funny to them at first. What we were saying on the song, it was, you know, it, it, it was funny to the people. Or, right, they understood. Or like our classmates or whatever. Yeah, nah, they used to laugh, they used to think it was funny. <laughs> that nigga they ain't saying. take us serious. <laughs> so what made so what? We got older and older. What made y'all change their mind aspect? Keep really, mind. I ain't even just like change their mind. It's just I just remember they just used to laugh. It's just this one song that everybody just used to. They was laughing about it, but now I know that shit probably was some you know catchy. It stuck with them for some reason. Mm -hmm. If you every time you see us, y'all cracking jokes about it. So it must you know. Uh, they say, good take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. So, they laughing, but shh, they listening. So I don't know, but I ain't think about that back then. I just thought I was getting laughed at. You just thought you were getting laughed yeah, at. Yeah, I thought I was getting laughed at. But not knowing it also sank in on their ass. Not knowing. Yeah, it done sank in on their ass. So then, what yeah. made you graduate? What was your next graduation album that you started really seeing money from? Or did you ever get out there and start selling CDs or anything? Oh yeah, man, I'm talking about bro. I've been set up. Yeah, I was selling CDs. I got pictures, everything. Everything documented. I was selling CDs. I pull up this hood, that hood, over there, over here. Bumping into people. Right. Posted up at Big T, selling CDs. The nigga already out there, <clears throat> the dude already out there selling CDs. I'm right. selling his CD and my CD. Right, 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 right. That's how yeah. it is. Y'all yeah, boy, the Big T, day. he said, I pull up the Big T and sell a CD. God damn at me. At the back door. At the back door. Like I'm Pimpin' or something. Yeah, yeah, Pimpin' King. Oh, yeah, man, I hate he lost his shop up there. You know what I'm saying? I used to pull up on Pimpin' King all the time, man. Shout out Pimpin' King two times. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so, like, I, I just want to know, like, what was your vision when you started this music and started 
cultivating your sound and everything like that. What was your main vision? Just talk, take over. Right, take oh. over. Just let them know, like, hey, I'm here. Y'all got to see me. Y'all ain't leaving me out. I feel like I was left out. I'm overlooked. Right. So describe yourself. Like, if somebody asked who was T Hawk, what would you want them to know you as, or what would you want to be known as? You know what I'm saying? When they pull up on T Hawk. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know you laid I don't back. Know. Cool. Just you tell cool boy, hey, man, hey, that yeah. boy pressure. Like, hey, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he pressure. Just, right. hey, he right. just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, whatever. Just keep it all the way raw and honest and real. Right. Whatever right. your perception right. or whatever it is, is just that. Yeah, I, I don't know. You got to, whatever that dash is, I'm right. still trying to go in and trying to figure out. So, whatever between my dash or however it is, I don't know. I ain't, you know. I mean, I see you outgoing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I like you. You real. You straight. You honest. You know what I'm saying? I like. I know from meeting you the past from this last week and so. You know what I'm saying? Like you control the room. I, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You control the room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I ain't know that. That's crazy. I ain't but that's know a that. good thing because they get people that. to keep their eye on you and know like, okay, man, that dude right there, he's solid. You know what I'm saying? He got yeah. a nice personality and woo woo, and he gonna speak his mind. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I really don't like the eye on me though. Uh, what? I don't know. It's crazy. I don't like the eye on me. <laughs> I don't like the eye on me. But I know sometimes that make you kind of be like, you know, like shit. Damn, you know, just look the other way. I'm chilling. You yeah, know? I'm chilling. Yeah. Don't no, mind me. Keep Sorry, overlooking me. So, who have you worked with? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I work with, um, I work with everybody from my, uh, my section, um, but really. Who you done did song with, you know what I'm saying? Like, in your oh, city and, and outside the city. Oh, I did song with mostly everybody. I got a song with most everybody from where I'm from. Outside the city, the only person I got a song with is, uh, Hey man, what's that nigga name? Uh, of course, Kenna. You know what I'm talking about. Of course, Kenna. Have on that Yellow Beezy remix. You know? What the Country nigga City Money. Campaign Self. Oh, Campaign. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, I okay. I got a, a song, Campaign Self, me and Daddy Do. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Still give me a say. Hey, Daddy Do, y'all keep bringing up the Daddy Do. You know what I'm saying? Say, yeah, I hear, him, I heard him on a couple of your records too, especially at the Mud Box. I guess I'm serious. Yeah, what, nah, for real. Where the Mud Box idea come from? Me and my partner, uh, you know, spot chilling, yeah. going back up and down, 35. We just, we in that mud. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We boxed in too, though. Right. Like, really, too, too. You turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left. We, you know, it's all in the same thing. It's right. one little area. Right. So we get it out that mud, we boxed in. That's my perception of it. We never even thought about how it came up. It just done came up. Uh, if you ask, you know, somebody else who was right there at the time, they probably say a whole different story. But me, she's like, I was in the days of trance. It just came up how it came up. I right. just remember certain little bits and pieces. We just riding up and down 35, just figuring out we got to come up with something, a different name for ourselves or something. Like that. What is like growing up in the wax, man? Uh, I mean, it's just like every other place. Right. It's just like every other place. What's the food spots? I don't know. There ain't no food spots. Other people probably do food spots, but I just eat what I eat. I don't know yeah. the food spot. But it's like, it's just like, back then it was turned. Yeah. Now it's, you know, it ain't like how it was. Dose out now. More chill, man, chill. Back then, it was turn. Everybody yeah. dead and chill, gone or done moved away. But back in, when I was growing up, 200 people in the park, cars, everything, fights, everything going on. That was a place your mom and them said, no, don't go to the park. Right, yeah, yeah you can go to the park. Is, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's still a get like that, though. <laughs> Them shirts are still pull up a hundred deep out there, you know. The shirts pulling up a hundred deep. Yeah, honey, pulling up a hundred deep. Guns drawn in hand. <coughs> yeah, it's going down. For the sheriff to pull up a hundred deep, it's a lot of y'all out there. 
Well, it's a lot of y'all out there. Well, it might be about probably 50. Well, yeah, it might be. It's a lot of y'all out there. For honey sheriff, boy, it's a lot of y'all out there. For real. Yeah, nah, they know the sure they But I know, the come, I know out there, you know, in them towns, you know, it, it can get Anybody deep. in the area coming. Once right, anybody, yeah. Once them 911 calls in, yeah. say them boys out there cutting up in Bleak Pit <laughs> Park. Them people coming. I swear to God, full court blizzard they not playing. So And they got their guns out and drawn. So what y'all doing? Y'all throwing your own shows out there? Nah, we ain't doing no shows in Los Angeles. What? Nah, it ain't no show. It's not. Nah, we ain't. Everybody coming up in Dallas to have fun. It ain't really throwing no shows. Uh, Scoop through a show. You know, he's starting mm -hmm. to do his thing, promotion, okay. doing a little shows. But okay. other than that, nah, ain't nobody throwing no shows. Nobody throwing no shows. Mm -hmm. Golly, man. I think, man. I just. Well, think nah, about it, it, I'm, it, it's people from. They probably got their hand in the show. Right. Right. Or some over here or over there. So. Because the Walsh Hatch, you got Walsh Hatch and Ennis. Walsh Hatch and Ennis really is. Nick, Nick. This the same thing, really, uh, but it's different. But everybody know everybody. Oh, okay. Like people with being that, they might be from Ennis, you never know. Uh, or they might be from Walsh Hatch, you never know. Right. Like Shrugs are from Ennis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then people, his people from Ennis and shit like that. Yep. But he out here, though. Right, right. He grew up there. Right. Facts. People facts, know facts. him. That's facts. So. Like, like, what the hell, like, so who was coming to do, y'all so y'all didn't even have people come to y'all city to perform, like, even big time people or anything like that to even Oh, yeah, show? uh, yeah, but that was like, it'll be, like, on, a, off the little highway or something like that, Trap them will come, okay. Mo3 came, who okay. else done came? A lot of people would come down there and uh, throw a show. Right. Came them throwing the party, uh, who else throwing the party? Doing the same thing they doing now, just on a different scale. Just on a different scale, okay. Yeah, they doing the same thing they doing now, just on a different scale. Now, I see they you. was throwing them parties back then. Trap them, pull up. You know what I'm saying? I know how, them part, how them parties be? How the, I'm not, I'm not, oh, them parties, they wild to wild. They wild to wild, ain't they? They wild to wild. <laughs> them <laughs> was the days. Man, I say that, I say. It ain't the same no more, though. Nah, but nah, those, those days, I know, I know going out to them times like that, and we did shows like that, like you say, yeah, they wild to wild. So I had to ask that, because them things be live. But like, so when you came, when you came up here, like, what was the vibe like? Like, what was the vibe like? Like, what was the vibe like? So when you came, when you came up here, I see, you, I see you've been messing around. I said, you know, what, what was his name? Um, Hectic? Uh, of a Havoc? What was his name? Who? Uh, what's his name? H-E, uh, was it Hit? Is it a Hit? Is it hit? You talking about half hit? Is it that what his name half hit? You talking about dude that got killed? That one got killed Oh no, work? I ain't know him. I oh. ain't know him. Okay, but you was out there at the, at the party though. Yeah, yeah, but, we yeah, we had just met. Well, you know, he was doing a little parking in the parking lot. Bossolini uh probably know them or whatever, because okay. he'd be up there way. Okay, okay. I just remember them, you know. Then when everything after everything, then I'm like, oh, I asked the same nigga from the parking lot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, but you were there that night? Yeah, we were there that night. Yeah, I seen, I cut out, you was uh, showing me some uh, some clips, y'all was there that night, and you was like, how you how you get to No More 3? Uh, sh Kane bought him to Walks of Hatchie. Mm. That's the first, I think the first time I met 3, Kane had bought him to Walks of Hatchie, taking pictures, just chopping it up, ooh, 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 ooh. never really taking nothing. No, never, but like before he came, though, he had just dropped the CD. Uh -huh. Nigga used to just ride around, listen to it, or whatever the case may be. And then came, bought him down. Then my partner was one day at the gas station in Dallas. Like, hey, hey, man, that nigga you be listening to your boy, you always be telling us about who he right here. Put him on the phone, chopped it up with him. Then they had like a little showcase. <clears throat> we were doing showcases, after showcases, showcases, showcases. And then we just pulled up. Then just, we like, hey, we finna jump on the big stage. We finna take over. Then they were playing, like, song. We turned up on stage, and then uh, Rain had walked out. Mm -hmm. and he was like, hey, man, we trying to perform. He was like, shh, drop out. We dropped out in the middle of the club. Cashed out. Give us the mic. We finna rock this out. We rocked the hell. Walk out. That boy called my phone the next morning. We were just sitting in the spot chilling. I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. He told us to pull up to where they was at the, in uh, Dallas. Okay, so shit, how much they charge you to pay for the uh, the, the rock the show? Shit, it was like five hundred. Okay, all right, shit, but they but you got a call though. Yeah, we walked. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got a call, call back. the next morning. Yeah, we next like, morning. Yeah. <laughs> they say, yeah, bro, y'all these y'all y'all just walk that, just left it. Ooh, ooh y'all got to do that every time. Y'all got that's how you supposed to do it. Right. Yeah. Right. Show up, flex. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and go on about your business. Yeah. Right. 
So what you so what you so what you what y'all end up doing later on after that call, you know what I'm saying? They end up hooking up with you, like how would you Yeah, hey, we met him at the studio, shit. We supposed to be doing a whole bunch of shit. Supposed to be doing this, supposed to be doing that, but you know, I guess I don't, after the hit shit happened, I guess, you know, everything just sl slowed and died down. Right, right, right. That's when all the, the travel. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. They yeah. say whatever three supposed to be banned from doing the shows in Dallas. Right. So shit, we was Everywhere they performing, we performing. That was a part uh, of the deal, you know? Oh, uh, okay. So I guess we had like a little promotion package. Hey, you do this, da, 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 da. I'm gonna help you get on this, 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 and this, and that. After that happened, you know, sh you know, everything just went. Uh -huh. Sour, yeah. yeah. It ain't go expected, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I feel you. Like, so so how it is with the promoters, the promoters in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Like, Shit, a nigga really be feeling played, but <laughs> nah, for real, but yeah. it's, just, it's, it's just what they doing. Right. Yeah, it's just what they doing. What is the promoters? What is the promoters? You promoter? drop a hot... Well, I mean, shit, like, bro, you... A, hey, bro, they know you trying to perform. Right. They know who really is serious about what's going on. So you come and approach them, you really want to do something. Well, if you really want to do some shit, it's going to work in their favor. Because you really want to do it. So they say, hey, go sell these thousand tickets. You really want to perform, so what you going to do? You going to get out there and sell them thousand tickets. And right. get them all the money. And then you gonna come perform, and then, shh, and them niggas don't give a fuck. Oh, so even when you sell these thousand tickets, you don't even get your money off that thousand tickets. I mean, Cause, cause I know, I'm pretty sure the game is like, oh, we gonna give you these tickets for like five dollars a piece, and y'all sell it for ten or fifteen well, or whatever no the case leeway. may be. I mean, she really ain't got no leeway. If you wanna perform, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you really ain't got no leeway. You gotta drop a hit. You gotta know this person, that person, that person. You want some leverage. That's what it's really about. Mm -hmm. They got more leverage. You the one up and coming trying to get it. Right. They got the leverage. They got the club. They got mm -hmm. the venue. They got this and this and this and that. You trying to get on the stage. You get what I'm saying? Do your thing. Right. So, shit. They know when they see me. I go to the they They, they remember. Hey, that was it. Oh, damn. I met him three years ago. He was doing. Oh, damn. He still. Damn, I see him in the club again. He's still going. He's still trying. The same niggas, though. Right. The same promoters. Yeah, he's, he, hey, this nigga keep popping up on these stages. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I don't even be tripping. I just be sitting back looking like, hey, yeah, here's time to get there. And you remember. You know what I'm saying? Because right. they, now they got to come book me. You, now I got the leverage. So guess what? <sighs> Same thing. But I ain't, that ain't the right way to go, though. Right, That's how right, I be feeling. Right, right, right. That's how but, I be feeling. So that will be mainly the... the, the so because you do most of your, your, your stuff out here in Dallas, right? Yep. So that'll be mainly Dallas promoters. Are all of them promoters like that? Nah, hell nah. But oh, okay. Nine times out of ten, you be running to them, you know, they say, hey, look, woo, 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 woo. whatever y'all deal or whatever the case may be, if you're going to drop out or you're going to sell some tickets or right. you might know them or they be your partner or whatever the case may be, <coughs> whatever the agreement is, you know, once the club with the rolling, man, all this kind of stuff go out the window. So how how you feel it should be for an artist if they are doing business with a promoter? What you mean how I feel it should be? Like, you how, know, like... How you feel I should... Like, how you feel like an artist should be handled or treated or what you think the benefit should be for an artist, you know what I'm saying, when working with promoters? It depends on what kind of artist you is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say... You can have that promoter that go sell out of the tickets 1200 That's he. You, you gonna take that home. That's him. You put the... But, uh, uh, yeah, yo, them just walked in the building. They coming through the door for free. Come, come in the building, and they got on, the clap. It, right. it depend on what kind of orders you is. Right. They gonna cater to whoever. Gonna, you know, you know what I'm saying. So you right. gotta work your way up. Right. You gotta get your leverage in. You gotta get your <laughs> foot in the door. I mean, I understand that too, but like. It's still like to me, to me, you know, because I know it's all game, and you know I don't knock no nigga hustle, you know I don't knock, you know how a nigga get that shit, but like I know too in 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 the promoter world, you know, especially messing with the venues, the venues give promoters a certain amount of money to do I certain. Don't know. See what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The dudes are certain. Like I be getting finessed and play with. You know what I'm saying? Every time I, I feel, I'm like, man, bro, so, and he need to be finessed all, and playing but, me, know. bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then yeah. we go in there, we throw all this money, whatever the case may right. be. Right. We gonna do what it okay, we gotta do what we gotta do to get on stage. Right. Okay, we're not tripping on it. Then we're gonna get on stage and rock out. 
You get what I'm saying? Right. I mean, have you traveled? Like, have you got outside of Dallas? Have you got outside no. of Texas? Mm-mm. Man, no. what do you know what I'm saying? I think, I think you should try to I get should. outside. Yeah. yeah so like, should. you know what I'm saying? Get outside. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, I, I like, we, we, we done talked about this plenty of times. It's like, I know a lot of niggas who ain't left Oak Cliff, nigga. Nah, and, nah, and, nah. And nah, and it's not, to no, I was, no, I travel and went everywhere. I don't want to. I don't mean to. Schooled in Dallas, I'd have been in, so I'd have been like ten. What? No, nah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Then it just, just period. It's just niggas ain't move. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, I don't and, move. And like I'm talking about, like, like, like. If you, I feel like you, you, your music. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can go to Cali. You can go, to, you know, New York. You can go to Atlanta. You yeah, can go I can. To Florida. You know yeah, what I'm saying? When I go to them places, yeah. and I meet people and I show them, hey, look, this is me. Right. They lock me in every time. I right. got people from. You know different states, right? You know that I don't met maneuvering through or whatever the case may be, or I see them or whatever the case may be. And the out of state, the people that is like really probably not from your city, probably you know they be riding too, right? They right. be watching from a distance, riding right, too, right? 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 Where your biggest fan base at? Probably in Los Angeles. That's all that really matters. That's what matters to me, though. Oh, we're not that's what matters, cause right. We I'm gonna push it out. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I want that to be my biggest fan base because right, you gotta right. have some That's concrete. Right. You gotta have some. If 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 you can't go to the wherever you going and it ain't bumping your music, you can't pull up over here. Not one song being played. Right. You in the car with your girl, she ain't playing your song. Mm. Your brother ain't mm. jamming it. Mm. You ain't even got your coat. You you can't oh. even, you can't even pull your phone out and tell my coworker, hey bro, look what I just made in the studio <laughs> last night. If your coworker don't every day he pull up. <coughs> Jamming it, that's what happened to me. See, I be, you know, I, my co, he pulling up it, hey, bro, that shit hard. Right. Why you here? Why you at this job? Right. Go rap. That's how it happened for me, you know what right. I'm saying? So it's just, everybody I deal with or come in contact to, it just always had happened. Then to get into some situations, I don't tell them who I am because, or tell them like what I'm interested in or tell them, what I really got going on, just I just sometimes be laid back like, bro. Because I already know what's going to happen every time. They think you just, you know what I'm saying? They, don't, they feel like you out of place. They feel like you belong somewhere else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where do where you feel you belong? Like I was saying, though, where, where you feel you belong at, you know what I'm saying, in this, in this music or in this, you know, uh, industry? I feel like I be, like everybody else at the top. Right. Right. I feel like I belong at the top. What? I want it all. Nah, I didn't say I want it all. What's well, okay? What's all? Okay, what's what's I want it all? What's all that include? All really is just to be in a position to just do right. whatever I want to do. Right. For me and my family and just whatever, whatever. Right. You well, know what I'm saying? Be successful. Right. Be successful. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? What type of uh? Like if if right now, boy, somebody gave you that bad bag, like that bad bag. You know what I'm saying? What's the first thing you gonna do? Hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, what, 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 what? Bro, I'm talking about that bag, bag. We'll I'm talking about. Put a number on it. I, I, you want me to put a number on yeah, it? Yeah, a number. Right, they come, we, they hit me, they, they sign gonna, me they gonna hit you right now much? with 50 mil. A 50 ball? 50 mil right now. They hit me with 50 ball. Texas already taking out. Texas already taking out. And I don't know how to 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 know the first thing you doing? What's the what's the what's the first thing you gonna do? What's the first thing I'm gonna do, or what's the first thing I'm gonna buy? I'm both. Shh, first thing, shit. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> be on, uh, just going crazy. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I told y'all I'm gonna make it. I told y'all, yeah, some shit like that. That what I probably that probably be the first thing I do once I sign. <laughs> once leading up to it, well, once right. I sign, shit, I don't know. They give me the 50 and they, I see the 50 real. She, uh, man, nigga probably just break down, bro. Right. Kyle, it would just be fucked up. Right. Like, damn, boy, this shit unreal. But then once you start, y'all don't know, nigga probably be, nigga done broke down. Yeah, nigga said broke, but I ain't nigga gonna lie. Probably, nigga probably break down. Nigga gonna be so humble or whatever the case may be. Shit, nigga just gonna be like, damn, boy, this shit finally happened. What you been preparing for, what you been working for, what you been grinding for. It's finally happening, so I probably wouldn't just be super excited. It probably wouldn't even feel like it'll probably feel real. It probably wouldn't feel like nothing because you already been training your mind for this. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? You ready? You but the first thing I buy though. Yeah, what well, first thing you buy? Shh. Ain't the first thing I buy. Shh. Ain't the 
first thing I buy and what I want, I don't know. I probably buy like 20 things at one time. Ah, damn. <laughs> and I, I'm talking about, so I'm talking about within. <laughs> Look, I'm talking about look. I'm within <laughs> within 24 hours, I'm, like, I'm talking about bro. Within 24 I said, hours, I'm gonna do you like you, I mean, I'm gonna do you like you did me, nigga. Put a price on it, nigga. Man, <laughs> in 24 hours, I'm at 47 mil. God damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spend three mil and 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 and. Got your system. How else you gonna know to learn? Yeah, you gonna you got hey, bro. I'm I done spent three. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. A good three, five. Yeah, I'm at forty five in twenty four hours. They gonna call me. The man, five mil gone that fast. Man, you know what I'm saying? So it probably be all one thing in one. Everybody, I'm talking about it. Men say, right? I go crazy. It's, I go believe. crazy on my people, you know. But then I go crazy with everybody because just. Right. What kind of hard nigga got? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel it. I mean, MC Hammer was With MC Hammer turn. was like that. MC Hammer had everybody on the payroll, <laughs> boy. Then he's what? <laughs> million gone. Boy, that nigga had the whole hood on the stage. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! That's why. That's why nigga ordered another one. It's on. Like, I ain't never even noticed it. Yeah, but now fifty million, man, fifty million got probably be gone. I know fifty ten, million, yeah. Ten gonna be gone for a nigga realize what done happened. Man, shit, I don't know, man. I don't think I could blow it though. I I know, shit, but I know I ain't, ain't gonna nobody gonna let me. Ain't nobody want no probably probably around me. And let me do this. Yeah, yeah, you know. I wouldn't even let myself do that though. I right. wouldn't blow, cause I'm already on money management. You right. Know that I already, yeah. I'm already practicing. Getting the and all yeah. that stuff. So yeah. now yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah, you can't handle this fifty million if you can't handle this. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now nah, I'm already practicing. But I know T T T Jones getting the house, T Lady getting the house, woo woo, all that. Yeah, we want to get the car. Some, yeah, now nah, we want to get us one of them. Uh, some land. Yeah, them Rick Ross mansion. The, oh, Rick, you seen that boys? Yeah, they boy. give us a fifty ball. What? If I get a fifty ball, bro, mm -hmm. I'm going on one of these little dirt roads out here, buying the <laughs> land. Yeah. Yeah, build me one of them estates like Boosie got on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that the more you said yeah. that Rick Ross though, that Rick Ross boy. I seen Boosie have too. Boosie and Rick Ross, yeah. either, it's gonna be something yeah. like that. Yeah, they live. They both yeah, live. That's that probably be that's what's gonna knock a chunk out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that. Then no matter what happened, we got that. Okay, I can deal what kind of what kind of deal you looking for? It, you know what I'm saying? Like what you what you looking for? What kind of deal what, I'm looking what, oh, for? Oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like what type of deal? I ain't never deal? thought about if I'm looking for a deal. I just, okay. So you were you talking about signing? Yeah, you know you see people sign, but you just think like, oh, but you don't never really think about right. like, oh, I want to sign this kind of deal. This, right. this, and this. If you were to sign. You just want to pop to see some kind of income. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. If you were to sign, who would you sign to? If I was going to sign, who I'd sign to? <coughs> okay, you got to give me like a label or oh, five. Shit, oh, you, got, like, you got Warner Brothers out there. Yeah. You know, I don't think about. Group. I don't think about them. I remember I used to talk to a dude from Epic Records. He used to call me. Okay. But sh I ain't, you know. Um. I don't know who else. They, they, got got it, but they still got a solid out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think about them. You know, you nigga be looking at God and them, you know, Jay Z, yeah, you know, all them kind of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they got man. Top Dog out there. Top Dog in the Three hundred. Three hundred. They still three hundred. Who on three hundred right now? Uh, the label in Houston. Oh, I think Trap Boy on three hundred. See, I want to go with the holler at them boys. Yeah. Cause I know we are really in. Well, um, probably be together or something like. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna scratch your back. You gonna scratch mine. I'm gonna do my part. You gonna do your part. That's where I've been. That's where I want to be on. Um, I want to carry. I want. I want the weight. Right. I want to carry the load. Be the workhorse. They gonna be like, yeah, man, that young nigga, he, yeah, he get him whatever he want, cause he going hard. You know what I'm saying? That what I want. Right. That. Yeah. The VIP. That VIP. You know that what I'm saying? That endless deal. Yeah. They, they, they gave you some money. They gave you some money, but they really got you forever, right. cause you don't went so hard. You don't turned up so bad. You get know what I'm saying? Right. To where it's just locked in. About all about having that leverage though. Mm -hmm. Understand your leverage, understand your worth, and understand what you what you own already, and and what you're willing to lease out. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just just sell all out. You know what I'm saying? 
it, you know, that's why, you know, you have things advanced. Like right now, what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? That mud boxing, you're building that catalog, you know what yep. I'm saying? Like, I, I, I want to talk about MBE, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I heard that ringing everywhere. What's the, what's the MBE about? Where did that start from? Hey, we can stop it and start it back over again. Mm -hmm. We got to fix the camera because it tilted to the other way. Oh, Look, okay. if I sit right here, I'm down. Okay, that's I got you. Boom, there we go. I got you. Yeah. What's what's okay? Yeah, the MBE. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what well, the MBE? Where that come from? You know, so I heard that's ranking where it started from. The MBE where it started from is just building. It's a really mud box ENT. Okay. Uh, and just MBE, we just whatever. You know, it's just automatic. Right. It's just natural. Right. You see the what's going on in the music em industry. You just emulate it. Practice it, put it in your own form. Okay, we got our own recipe. Da, 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 okay, push it out. Like like a product, wrap it up, whatever the case may be. How Walmart do it, they put they, the name on it, whatever. Get, create the product and push it out. MBE, just the product. I'm trying to just push it out. Who are all a part of MBE? Man, I can't call it out. Okay, okay. So who I they? can't call it that. They NBE, you know. Yeah, it's right. a lot of people muddy in their heart, but they can't say they is though. Right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, it's a lot of people. You got undercover NBE people, but you get what I'm saying? Right. But they just can't say, "Oh, I'm NBE." Right. You get what I'm saying? They boyfriend might, like, hey, are you listening to that one? <laughs> so they can't just post me. Right. Or, your partner can't just say, oh, this, 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 and that. But they, you get what I'm saying? Right. Something like, it's just undercover with it. It ain't cool to be NBE right now. It ain't cool to just say, oh, this, and this, and this, and that. But if a nigga pop, everybody gonna be NBE. Everybody gonna be muddy. When a nigga pop, you know what I'm saying? It's just had be. So, so right now, you just, you the, you the forerunner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, yeah. You holding it down. Yeah, it's something that we, that, you know, I started. We just being outside, hanging out, being right. in the streets, running around. Right. It's something that just I always just been my dream. It's just I, I got help or whatever the case, however you want to call it, just being with your partner, your brother. You right. know what I'm saying? They got their inputs in on it. We just how they just naturally start screaming. We in me too. Right. You get what I'm saying? That's just how it go down. So, what you see? What you see in me for five years from now? Man, well, I see NBA on five years from now. Really, just being consistent, doing the same thing you're doing now. Right, right. Just, just popping that muddy shit. The same thing. No matter if it go big or small, just staying, just popping it all the way. Just being true to your brand or whatever you want to do. What's your favorite song, man? My favorite song? Out of, out of your collection, out of your catalog, man. What's your favorite song? Dang, what's, what's my that favorite one? song? What's that, one? what's that one you wake up to, then you get in the shower to, you get in the car? Right now, it's that I Miss Sita. Right move. now, it's it's a song called I Miss Sita, my cousin, man. Uh-huh. Uh. My cousin, um, he got killed, what, well, like three years ago? Two years ago? I don't know, he got killed. You um, know, yeah, I just named it that because of the tone. Everybody, I say, I was painting my soul. They keep on saying I'm throw. And I just keep repeating that because they think, you know what I'm saying? They be saying it, yo. Right. They crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They just don't know. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, shit going on like that. Going, yeah, like my cousin, he got killed and shit. He just, shit, that just was just really just, really just, really just, I don't know, just made a nigga just go off the handle. Right, right. Like, gave yeah, you more, just after you even more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, who who really been in your corner and been your, your support factor and really supporting you? I mean, my main supporters, you know, it, who people I grew up with, my family, but, man, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I got, I, everybody support me. Sometimes be feeling and seeming like it, it don't until right. somebody just tell you, like, hey, bro, but 
everybody be supportive. I don't really like everybody be saying all for my haters and all this, 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 and that. I don't really get like I got haters or I got I don't know. Right. I just if you, if I just look at it and just be true to myself, everybody support me. Don't nobody just come and just be like, oh, they don't support me. I just feel like everybody support me just in their own way. That's why it really just motivated me because sometimes it just be, it be feeling like ain't no support, but shit. They be supporting. Right, they right. be watching. They be liking. They be clicking. They be running. Hey, y'all see how glad night? Hey, y'all see T. Hogland over there? They word them out. So they really support me. Even if they talking about you, whatever, whatever. Ooh, how he think he's some? Oh, he think he, you yeah, get what I'm saying? All that support. They, word of mouth, word of mouth, right. word of mouth. You right. just see the numbers go up. Well, right. somebody must be talking about me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, That's right. That's how I look at it. Nah, I done right. sat back and done analyzed it too much now. You get what I'm saying? You understand, you know what I'm saying? I understand what's yeah. going on now. Yeah, it's a difference between mm -hmm. that real world and that virtual world. You know yeah, but now I always had support, bro. Even me and my teachers and people I grew up with from school, from second, third grade, still be hitting me up on Facebook support. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. It ain't about no music. It, it get deeper than the music. I always been, I don't know. Anything I did, they always just gravitated to me and just I always want to help. You get what I'm saying? Nah, that's I, I can understand that. I know some people like that. I got a partner who used to have everybody there for him. You know what I'm saying? And, but he ain't know how to accept it. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah, a good well, thing you know how to take back, look in there. Nah, I'm trying to, I'm learning right. how to accept it now. Right, right. I still don't know how to accept it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, nah, I'm still trying to figure out, like, dang, that's crazy. That's wild. Yeah, for real. That nigga was playing my song for real? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Damn. For real, that shit be mind blowing yeah, to me. For real. That be, it be fucking me up. Nah, for real. And if people don't understand that shit. That shit go a long way too. When somebody, you know what I'm saying, listening to your stuff or admiring your stuff or even, you know, taking the time out, you know what I'm saying, to even just pay attention, that shit means a lot. You know Man. what I'm saying? It goes a long way. I know I know it do. Yeah, cause when I'm in that booth and I'm put through this song and right. you, it go, you get what I'm saying? Right. You be like, dang, bro. Mm -hmm. I got my point across. Right. What is it like in the booth with you, man? What, what's your vibe like? Man, what's how 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 it is? No when you, I'm spazzing. Man, what's your vibe like? Yeah. I'm spazzing out. Every time, any studio I done ever went to, I done went to some studios and niggas just, hey, bro, every time a nigga get on their mic or do anything with music, it's breathtaking. That's the response I get. Niggas be like, man, say, bro, that shit crazy. Right. It ain't no response. It ain't no, it just be like, damn. I don't know, bro. Like, shh. Who the producers you working with, man? Y'all uh, be in the studio together cooking or what? How, how I mean? How you approach it when you're in the uh, studio? Uh, I, now I just go. Okay. This thing got, this thing got so easy. I just you don't need no go. producer in there. Nah, nah, nah. I never just really got the producer part down packed, but like, I understand what's going on with the producer and stuff like that. I just want to have a body of work to mm -hmm. where it's, it's so good that somebody come reach out to me and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying, let's work or something like that. But as far as me, Knowing somebody that producer this and this and this and that, nah, I ain't really. Right. No, no producer. I just get a beat or something like that. How everybody else get a beat. Right. But what I do is I got so many different styles. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it might be a pain song, turned up song, ass shaking song. It's so many different songs. So I know, okay, if the pain song, okay, it might not go, but this song over here going. Mm -hmm. But they, they still jamming that pain song. Who, right. for the, you got to go through all different avenues. It's different type of aspects of music. Everybody ain't going to feel like being turning up every day. Mm -hmm. That's why you hear on some songs I'm singing. Some right. songs I'm right. just rapping. Some song, You know what I'm saying? I'm right. in and out. I'm doing it all. Man, who you always want to work with that you never got a chance to work with in the industry? Uh... Who I want to work with, you mean? Like who you want to work with, who you always want to get a feature with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like who who, who you know, you know right now when we do a song together right now, like that mother. Like I've been, I've been wanting to do a song with this person, man. Shit, Boosie. Boosie? Okay. Bad. Um, yeah, Boosie, he on the radar right now. I'm yeah, I just want to get on the song, I just want to get on the song with Boosie. Yeah. Like, I want to rap with everybody. 
Right, but, but boost it. If I get on the song with Bad Ed, yeah. Oh man, that's probably when. Did they really think a nigga got the big head? Right. You ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing for real. <laughs> they think I gotta be. They probably think you know that nigga think he all there. He think. But I'm humble though. Everybody right. don't really yeah. humble. But well, if I get on the boost, song with Bad Ed, well, I'm that nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that nigga. If I get on that bitch with Boosie, say man, he been straight up and down. Man, Boosie, Boosie been he he been he been uh trending all on Vlad, all on YouTube. He been he been going like yeah lately. Yeah, man, that'd be a, that'd be a track. You know, I can see you with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Cause I that, I got a song for Boo. I'm oh. talking any song really. I got a song. I'm talking about yeah. I got some shit. Mm. And I can just hey cook up right now in my mind. Just hey, I already know what it's gonna do. I already know how I can get in the booth and say what I'm gonna say that's gonna get him to make him even wanna get on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. For yeah, real. for real. Man, so what like what what can we what what can we expect from you, man? What you got working on what you working on right now? Same thing. Same thing they been expecting from me. Shh man, oh what well, I'm what I'm working on, uh I gotta take Mud Baby Farm from the drop that. Man, I'm from the start. Then I'm from the start shooting me some videos. Okay. Turning up. I'm finna okay. drop this mud baby before. I don't okay. put out all this music. So now I'm finna go back and find a song and put them on camera. Okay, you finna get litty then. Okay. You finna yeah, get them on business. camera. Yeah. I hear that. You know, turn up. You know what I'm talking about? Man, man, tell them where they can they find you. Where can they find you? Oh, they can find me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. You know on saying? Instagram is Hawk em Down. H A W K E M D O W N. Right. You know what yep. I'm talking about? Hey, and I might find you. <laughs> yeah, we might find each other. You get what I'm saying? They right. say they ain't always got to come find me. I'm coming to find you. I'm right. coming looking for it. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? Right. I'm really trying to do it. You get what I'm saying? So I might come find him. Man, say so you were talking about your experience about performing. Yeah. Last night, and you like you never had that experience like that. What was the experience or that feeling? Oh, you know last man, night? That you felt. Man, at first, cause, cause, bro, you know, sometimes, sometimes when you be doing it, you be shooting for the, the highs, everything, your expectation be so high, but you really don't even be knowing what be going on, you get what I'm saying? Like, you thinking it's gonna be 10,000 people in this, in this, in this place, but, but it's only a hundred. So you really thinking you ain't doing nothing, but you really don't know that 20 people in this place done left with a party. You, you get what I'm saying? Right, you right. really never know what's going on. You don't know who watch, you don't know. You you trying to perform for a thousand people, but it's one main, one important person in there. You get what I'm saying? My facts. So it might be a thousand people, a thousand nobodies. But then it's two hundred people and one one important person to get you in the door. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fair. So shit, last night was just, bro. I don't know. It just feel like you can feel that she leveling up. Right. I can go back. We can go back five years ago and look mm -hmm. when I was performing. Look what I was doing, and then we can jump to now, and you can see the growth, the improvement. Right. You get know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. Nah, cause I know I. You know, just looking in from the outside, looking in. And like I was telling all y'all, Tato and all that, I'll say, I see the growth, I see the passion, and I see the hunger. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all keep that up, y'all gonna, y'all, sky, sky ain't, ain't the only limit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People say sky's the limit, but I say the sky ain't the only limit. You know what I'm talking about? And you can keep going, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, you can like, keep going. Yeah, and I, and I vibe. It's just all about really trying to get that right ear. Right. Trying to get that right person to you get what I'm saying to hear it. the music there. Right. Everything there. Everybody know what's up, but shit, it's just, you know, I don't know what it is. Right. Maybe a nigga ain't going harder as he think he's going. Like, okay, today. So I'm trying to give him that pressure pack. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to come through and kick the door down all the way in. How do you and know? And not letting up. I don't mean to cut you off, but how do you know if a person make it in today's time? How you know if they make it? In today's time. Well, shit, man, I, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> nah, it be, you never, because what it look like is you make it if you money bag your them. You get what I'm saying? Or you doing how they moving, moving how they moving. Okay. But you might meet somebody or some or people might be sitting back seeing you every time they see me, bro. Hey, 
You got to me doing your thing. You get what right, I'm saying? They right. treating you like you them. Right. So it be like shit. In my in your eyes, you looking at everybody on this on your phone. You looking at what the good they doing. Right. You get what I'm saying? So you really you gotta really focus on yourself and build that within. Nah, you get like what I'm that. saying? I like that. Because like if that. you're looking at somebody else, you might be like, oh, well, that's making it. That's where you want to be. That's making it. But to another person, you probably done made it. Cause shit, my partner in the feds right now, we be just be talking on the phone. That nigga probably be like, that nigga be like, yeah, boy, you made it up out that mug. You mm. get what I'm saying? He no, tell okay. me that all the time. Yeah. Because at a point of time, it was a time to where it was like, bro, damn, I can't, we can't wait to get to where we at right now. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And now he doing, he got to go on his little bit, but it's like, shh. He sitting back watching through a phone looking like, hey, damn, bro, I just remember we was just over here struggling to do this, grinding, hustling to do that. Man, it seemed like, you get what I'm saying? Right, right. Like everything slowed down for me. Yeah, yeah. And you, but, and you, but, and you, you but kept, you kept it seemed like you made it out that mud. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But shit, bro, it's just new levels, new devil. You get the level T, you gotta go. Once you complete this level, it's gonna be, you You start all over. It's the reset button. You gonna have to go through the same thing on that level. Boom, you gotta defeat that. Gotcha. Yeah, you gotta defeat them obstacles will come at you. And then, like, you just keep going. Then you might, you know, whatever. Let's like say you get, you just keep grinding or whatever, whatever. And then, shit, bro, it's like, once you get it down, so once you, like, fall off or whatever the situation is, like, how can I put it? Like, okay, let's just say you grind it, boom. You make this X amount of money, but you fall out. But in the process, you fall now, you learned all this. So now when you reach to this certain level, you know like, hey, I ain't got nothing in my pocket, but I got some experience. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know like, oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't, I started out walking, but now I got zero dollars now, but I got a car. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So, okay, let me grind again. Okay, now I got a crib. But, you get what I'm saying? You just keep starting yeah, over. Keep elevating. Yeah, yeah, but see, you ain't start. But at first, you started with nothing. Right, right. Now, now I got a car. Now I got this. There, I got some clothes, shoes. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking after the pretty shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you get I what I'm saying? Step out. I can step out. But you got to just keep elevating. Right. You just can't stop. You know what I'm saying? Fact, fact. You just can't stop. Nah, you, you stop. You, you, you pretty much dead. You dying. Yeah, that's when it's over you know, with. Yeah, once you, know you stop. Saying? Like, you know, you shit, you gotta keep moving, you know what I'm talking about? Like, man, what, man, what's, man, what's your biggest dreams, man? What, what, you ain't you gonna have dreams, man? Do you, niggas, do people even dream anymore? <laughs> do I have dreams? Yeah, man. Hell yeah, I be having dreams. But the cold part about that shit is, I be dreaming shit and shit be happening. Right. Like, I be dreaming shit and shit be happening. Right. <laughs> right, like, right. I be dreaming shit, shit be happening. So, when I be having dreams and them, and I be, I can feel the dream. Right. So, it's like, sometimes. Like, you, like, like, you know. Nah, look. Yeah. Hey, I done had a dream one time. I was, nigga, I had a mansion, woo woo, Lambo outside. And I'm really in this dream. Nigga, I had to wake up and go look outside, like, damn, fool, I thought I had that outside, <laughs> boy. I but you felt that limbo, you boy, know you walked like, there, you felt everything. Man, that's how real that shit feel. Nah, for real. You know, shit, been out of body experience, goddamn it. I done had a dream where they say it's like, oh well, like deja vu or some shit. Yeah. You know, but I done had dreams to where I done catch myself like, damn, bro, I seen this somewhere before. Right. But see, I do so I be watching so much shit. Right. And be on these YouTube channels and watching this shit, bro, like it's so much they'll say some whole other weird shit like, hey, you, goddamn me, that's really you, or you don't, you know, like me, they be saying all kind of crazy shit on the internet. Man, nah, for real, they be, nah, they be on some, they be on to some stuff. But I be going some with it, I be, be going with it, though, be because. Too far. But some of that stuff be like, okay, I, I can see that, I can see that. Yeah, hey, yeah, you can see, you can see that shit, it's mm -hmm. really like. They say the power of the tongue, manifestation. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? That for real. type shit is like, damn, I say, I was on this podcast, hey, bro, next year, hey, I'm gonna be the biggest thing. Then next year, I'm the biggest thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. But shit, how many people screaming it, though? 
And then, yeah. And, and then, then they, they, not the big, but then it's one or two that was like, they gonna screenshot, hey, look, yeah. last year I told y'all, but get, right. you get what I'm saying? That's why, I say you That's why get, you can't stop. You, you, you get, can't stop, you can't sit there and expect it gonna follow yeah, your map. You gotta get out there and go get it. You know what I'm saying? Go get like, it, you, go get you, it, go get it. You know what I'm saying? You reach out. I'm like, y'all, y'all reach out. Like, man, how, wait, man, how you get on the interview? Let me get an interview. Woo, woo. You know, it's like, hey, that's how you that's do it. That's what I don't be doing. Right. See, because I don't. I don't be I don't be want to bother people, bro. Like, like, bro, you could be rapping or whatever, uh, whatever the case. Like, I don't sold a couple rappers my merch, but I ain't just go up and hey, bro, shit, I rap, I go hard, check me out because I don't be want to bother people. I don't be want to bother, not even just rappers. Nobody in, I don't want to bother nobody. I just want to kick up my dust. How I'm kicking up my dust. If y'all notice it and want to come fuck with me, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But. As far as like me going out and but I'm finna start bothering people though. Oh really? Yeah, I'm finna start bothering people though. Right. I'm finna start hey, I'm finna start shooting them Instagram DMs. Right. I'm finna start popping up at hey show, hey bro, hey look. Hey, hey. hey here I go, hey bro, yeah. you said you gonna play my song? Yeah. Play yeah. my song. Yeah. But I don't wanna do that because I don't be wanna be no hassle to nobody, but nigga probably be overthinking cause you probably ain't even no hassle. You get what I'm saying? Right. I just don't be wanna Nah, you know what I'm saying? Some you know, some you you you'll recognize who really who really support you, you know what I'm saying? And when they just, you know, a fluke, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? People people understand the difference, you know, like but that's a good thing though, man, like like you got like you got your head on like that, man. A lot of cats, you know, be on some other stuff though, but them dreams, them out of body experience, all that stuff. It be real, man. Some yeah, that yeah, shit. That be real. We live know? in a spiritual. See, I'm a mm. I live in a mm. spiritual world. Right. A lot of people live in the physical. Right. I don't live in the physical. So they always ask me, oh, why you always be by yourself? You always you don't really just talk to nobody and say this and this and that. Cause I'm feeling the spirit. I'm feeling the energy. Right. My energy is telling me, hey, stay over here and kick it by yourself, so I can protect you, and I'm gonna protect me. Right. So we ain't even gotta deal with none of the bullshit. Cause I get around people and listen to their conversations. And it throw me off. Right. You get what I'm saying? I want to be around people that is having the same kind of conversations I'm having, trying to go to the same type places I'm going. It's like, damn, bro. Like, I come around y'all, and y'all, damn, bro, we was talking about that four years ago. It's cool, nothing wrong with it, but it's like, shit, nigga trying to do something different. Nigga trying to really take it there. Right. What you think about the music today? Like, on the, on the grand scheme, on how we receive music, how music is today, cause I like change. I like, I like, I like, I like all the young people coming up. You know what I'm saying? But like, I just want to know what's your perspective on how we receive music and how, you know, how the game changed from back then. Like from you know, like CDs. You know, it was different. Like how you used to go, to people have you had CD. People had the posters on the wall, da 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 da. But nowadays, you got the internet, da 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 da. Well, this is no, it's really normal for me, cause right. Shit, you just, bro, the way, uh, how we grew up, you just always seen it coming. If you think about it. Right, right. They always prepared you for what the next thing was. When yeah. we was in school, they were saying, hey, bro, we're going to have fucking this and this and this and this and that. You just never really, like, you already knew that shit was coming. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right, so, right. how we receive it is just, we really just naturally receiving it. God, I'm just saying, how do you? Like, how do you really discover music? How do you find somebody new? Oh, how I find somebody new? Yeah, how do you find somebody new? Shit. I be listening to the same thing. Bro, I listen to, like, for it to actually stick with me and find somebody new, it gotta be like somebody that's really talking about some shit that I be going through or dealing with. Or oh, it just make me feel good, but you know, uh, like Instagram. Really mainly it's just Instagram. Okay. If somebody knew they gonna put it in your face. Okay. Once you knew. Right. And you popping and you him. Right. They gonna put it in your face. Okay. Everybody gonna social media the uh 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 the bloggers they gonna put it in your face. Okay. He 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 you know what I'm saying? And then it's gonna be up to the people to decide like oh, okay yeah we rocking with it. Facts facts. You know what I'm saying? Fast. But other than that the bloggers gonna put it in your face until. It's like repetition. They gonna put it. They gonna drill it in your mind. It's just like <clears throat> if you a hustler, right? Mm -hmm. And you ain't got no customs. Oh, you ain't got nothing going. 
or you or you an entrepreneur. Let's put it in an entrepreneur. You an entrepreneur, and you selling whatever you selling. But this your first day selling. You just went and bought it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, I want to sell this product. This how they drilling the music in your mind. Okay. If you just go stand in one spot, right? Let's just say I go post up on at Big T every day with the same product. <coughs> Eventually, the people they gonna know like, hey, bro, that nigga that got the gas that that Zai pack, he be at the back of BT sitting over there in that blue car. Every time, bro. So they gonna eventually. You ain't got no custom. Right, right, right. But, bro, by the, you started Monday. By Sunday, yeah, it's gonna. You ain't gotta say nothing. Right. right. Oh yeah, bro. I already know. They finna come over. You kind of know how much money you finna make. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. drill it in their head. Yeah. Hey, bro, I'm be sitting right here in the back. Right. Hey, bro, come fuck with me. I'm be sitting right back in the blue car. And they gonna just come naturally. They just gonna come. Hey, that nigga back there. So with the music, that's how it is. That's just drilling in your head. You hear it everywhere. It's normal. So Instagram be that. But nah, that anything. Day. Social right, media. You right. go to the club. Yeah, yeah. You, you walk out. You know what the hottest shit is. Right. Like that glow really drop. Fuck nigga free. Right. That. Yeah. Who's not listening to that? I mean, damn that. Took so on, yeah. so so it's just how did they? How did you find out about glow real? Man, that mother nigga Instagram. Social media. Shit, social media. Going outside. Let's TikTok. go. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go, bro. Nigga, nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, you can drop a video today and goddamn me be a million of tomorrow. It's so easy. Right. But see, Content my thing, my thing, my, my thing, it was like, when she came back, it was like, she was already CMG. You know what I'm saying? It was what like, you mean? Like, ain't she with uh, CMG, ain't she? Well, she signed, well... She dropped a song and uh -huh. got popping, I think, and then right. they reached out to her. All right, cause they cranked, cause, cause the wheels cranked on that real quick. I'm talking about he snatched up real quick. That was that was quick. It was almost yeah, like he, it, he it, it was almost like it was almost like he already had her. <laughs> yeah, that's see because and look and everybody think oh glow she just dropped one song and blew up overnight. See that's the internet. Yeah, the internet. But they don't know she was rapping and she in her rapping, partner. She been yeah. she done dropped a thousand grinding, songs not, like all of us. Grinding. We all done dropped a thousand songs. Yeah. So when I go drop that hit <laughs> and the guy that come get me, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be like, oh that nigga blew overnight. Nah. They ain't gonna know. She put in that word. The reason why we don't know about this, right. and this is what I know. I'm once they once it pop and they catch on, mm. they see who T Hawk is, they gonna see Okay, that whatever the song that it is that go that's hot. Once they type in my name, they gotta go back and look at ten years worth of work. Right. You hear what I'm saying? Right. On all social media platforms, so it's just like anybody that's popping right now, you can go back and find all their pictures and whatever the case may be through social media, what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you you, you gotta catch up. in. You yeah. gotta catch right in. You ain't gotta chase. The the whoever the number one, you ain't gotta be right. little baby now. Right, right. You just gotta catch in. You ain't gotta like chase what they doing. You right. just gotta catch in your own little way. Okay. Find your yeah. own little groove, your little pattern. Yeah. Oh man. Find your audience. When I when I got on this, then oh you find oh they like when I get on there and I start dancing. Yeah. Oh they like seeing me on up with Bay. Right. Oh, when I post bait, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. I get a thousand, I get a thousand views when I yeah. post bait. Yeah. When I drop this song, man, y'all act like y'all ain't fun with it, but hey, it's cool. But at the same time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you post yeah. bait, you post it yeah. female or whatever the case may be, they want to see what you're doing. Nah, it, 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 so it's like that personality right. shit. Yeah, yeah, you can't just be a rapper. Right. You got to have it. Right. You gotta slide your music in there some other type of Damn, way. What's now. that shit called? Yeah, what's that shit called? Uh, you, gotta, you gotta be an influence. You gotta, you gotta be like a. It's like it's like um, uh, what you call it? Um, the like the the TV show reality. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mm -hmm. show them everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? So yep. And then they gonna tune in. That's what I mean. That's I mean this kind of shit right here. Right, this right here. They're gonna they gonna tune in. You know See, what they saying? might they they might like what I'm. They might like watching the interviews more than they want to go play their song. Yeah, but that's Man, what we want to hear what the, what kind of game they finna drop today. Let me just go holler at these podcasts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, square business, but they're gonna, they gonna go back and look at their music too, and they gonna be like, oh goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not nah, that music. And that's how people that's how people catch on. You know what I'm talking about? Like square business, you know, like so, 
Like who who you been having your eye on? Like who been who been hot in the city though? Like and like who's been hot? Like who you been who you been like saying okay oh that oh this nigga gonna blow or this oh this motherfucker got something? Shit, man, bro. Uh, who I well, like who I like, feel yeah, like yeah. that that, that shit, bro. Besides myself, right? And cause I I'm a fan of the game, right? So I really don't even. If you, I, I don't, I just do my own thing and right, I pop my own right, thing right. and I let people, but who, that nigga TTOD Bumpy Johnson. Man, say. I can't hey, say no way. Hey, I just posted him today. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he got, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I fuck with Bumpy. Right. I, one, one day I was, goddamn in the spot hustling, woo, uh -huh. pulling up to the corner store. Look, Bumpy, he hop out. Hop, do, 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 do. See, I don't remember certain shit because I be going so, like I just be moving and have my life set up. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like a lot of the stories that he was telling me or what how he remember me, I don't remember. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Right. And it and it always be like that because I've just been strictly. I have like it just I just been thinking about what I want to do and this and this and that. So it's like. Shit, sometimes I don't even just think about the other human being or the other person that I'm around. Like, because once you transition or you move out of town or you go over here and go over there, them, them bonds, it ain't like the bonds break, but it's just like you on to something different. So one day he like pulled up on me and was just telling me, like, hey, bro, I rap. Shit, I was fucking with that shit. Right. I had my verse ready and everything. Like, I was going to hop on the song okay. and everything. I think he put, uh, Campaign self on there. Okay, okay. Yup, I put a post a video on Facebook. I had did a verse. But shit, bro, it's just, you know what I'm saying now, bro, like, hey, that shit be live, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now that nigga, yeah. like, be doing how I be thinking in my mind. If I can't do it, I want somebody else to do it. Right, right, right. If right. I ain't gonna make it shit, damn, bro, look. Right. Hey, I'm gonna feel like I'm the coach or try to tell you, hey, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I nigga, just want to see somebody. You, nigga, I throw the alley oop, nigga. <laughs> I just want to see somebody do it. You get right, what I'm saying? Because right, right. I know it can be done. Right. And so I just want to, shit, spark somebody or just, oh, shit, somebody make it from my way. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I feel like TTOD, Bumpy Johnson. God damn me. Yeah, nah, that nigga turn. That's, that's really like, oh, like, with the music or some shit like, um, I ain't gonna say it's not like I'm watching them because right, right. it's not like you watching them or cause you ain't discover them or something like that but it's just like you can just feel that shit right, right. I feel that shit you know what I'm saying so I ain't gotta watch them I just it's just you know it's, yeah, yeah I just know, I know. it's that you know what I'm saying I know right. hey, like, hey bro yeah. that shit crazy I be asking that bro damn bro how the fuck you do this how you do that Right. That nigga just, mm, just, like, he just took out. Man, let's talk about, we can't let you get up here about this clothing line, man. What's up about this this clothing line you got, man? Man, that clothing line, that's an extra stream of income. Yeah. You you get enough, you can just, I like being creative and just, like, doing my own thing. So, you get that clothing line jumping, I just noticed, like, you see a lot of entrepreneurs now in the way the world going on. Mm -hmm. So, you got to find something where you got to get that extra stream of income because, right. You could be at that nine to five, mm -hmm. but I got five hundred units on here. I just seen somebody on Facebook say they show they before and they after. Oh, I started at twenty sales, and they show you they twenty sales. Now they doing twenty thousand sales all off the internet just by posting some shit, right? A product. So you gotta make your own product, right? Post that shit, market it, and then maybe you gonna have that before and after. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just really just trying to create everything I'm doing. I'm trying to create my own thing so I can market it, publish it, boom. It's stuck. All the music, damn, it's stuck. All the clothes, it's stuck. The hats, it's stuck. Oh, um, we shot a little video. The video stuck. You never know. You bought some bullies, some dogs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what got us out. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. You never know what it's going to be. Right. So you just got to. Right, you know, you gotta have the multiple streams of income. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? For real, for real. Where can they get that merch from? 
Shout out to uh, website www.mudboxclothing.com. Yeah, y'all heard that. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, mudboxclothing.com. And I got it on hand. Or you just pull up on me. I pull up. Or you can pull up. Have it go. You know what I'm talking but about? But I'm finna get a new set. Okay. Yeah, I'm finna get a new set. See, really, I was trying to cater to everybody. Catering. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But now I'm just finna sit back and just drop some up. Okay, finish Pay somebody to pay some. Yeah. Do this and this and that. Pay for my ideas and my thoughts. Okay. And then put it out like that. And then if y'all like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Because I ain't gonna try to please everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, heard that, I know they, my they, people gonna rock they, with it either they, way. They, have it go. Hey, them pleasing everybody. Hey, you running in circles, boy. Yeah, I can't please everybody. <laughs> that's my biggest thing. Nigga, be For trying real. to please everybody. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah, it's, but I know the people, if you gonna work, if me and say, look, it's certain people that just gonna, no matter what you do, they gonna rock with it regardless. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, shit, you ain't really gotta please nobody if you got them. So, you know, well, you know, I always ask this question, you know what I'm saying, before I give you the flow. And the flow is yours. You can say whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? But this is my question. If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? That's my that's my million dollar question, man. <laughs> Damn, what question did I ask myself that I didn't ask? What question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? That I want you to ask me, okay. I don't know. Um. I don't know, bro. It really gotta be something about like, hey, uh, how you grew up with some shit or some that's beneath the surface, not nothing. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Some deep shit or like how it was, uh, not how it was growing up, but like, what drives you to keep going or some shit or okay. like where you get your your drive from or some shit like that. Okay. And how would you answer that? What where, where you where, where you get your drive from? What where, where you get that where you get that extra that extra push from? You know what I'm saying? To make you keep going. Damn She like really like watching my mama go to work, like bro yeah. growing up. Just seeing her work three jobs or Walking to work or just grinding or whatever yeah. you have, you really not knowing what's going on until you really just get grown type shit. Right. But just as a kid growing up, seeing her doing all that, working, 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 now she's still working, 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 working. It's like, damn. Like, damn, how you do it? It's yeah. like, you get what I'm saying? Nah, so it's I'm like, real. shit, if mama can do that, nigga, I gotta be going 20 times harder. She right. was, you get what I'm saying? So right. that shit is just like, Something like that. That's some real shit because a lot of people don't give it up to their tea lady, you know what I'm saying? Like that, you know, like, you know, Pac was a big advocate of letting know how strong a black woman was or even his mama was. And I like how you, you know what I'm saying, cater that to your mama, man. So, man, like, shout out to your mama two times, you know what I'm saying? For yeah, real. Yeah, you yeah, know nah, what I'm talking about? Shit, go. <laughs> nah, yeah, for real. Nah, everybody know me pound the goat. <laughs> Nah, for real. They know Shout out to Pam. You all talking about so Yeah, nah, a lot of us wouldn't. Hey, bro, it'd be a lot of fucked up shit. Everybody been in a lot of messed up situations if it wasn't for my mama. Nah, I swear, bitch. You man. know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot of shit, bro. But that's where it really just, all this shit really just come from. I was out, I was up under. Right, right. Watching, seeing this, seeing it. Thinking like, oh, my daddy wasn't around. But right. Whole time that boy was just sitting back in the cut. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Certain shit going on. Now is you older. Now you growing up when you like from 10 to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You really don't be know what the fuck going on. You think you know. Yeah. But then when you just get out, sit huh? back, yeah. then you come up and somebody tell you, damn boy, you ain't just like your dad. And what you mean by that? Oh man, you, who do who do who do I am? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you don't really you, you don't know what you think you know. Mm -hmm. So it make you re go back and reprocess all this shit. Right. You should be grateful for all this shit. Like damn, what? 
I was tripping when I was 13, 14, 15. <laughs> Mama the blue. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real, Dre. Mama threw the man way right through the mud. <laughs> yeah, nah, that would make a nigga. Yeah, nah, nigga striving and trying to nah, be great for this. Nah, for you real. know what I'm saying? Nah, shout to out repay, to all the mamas out there. Repay that debt. Yeah. Debt right there, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Nah, mm -hmm. for real. Man, the flow is yours, man. You know what I'm saying? You can get your shout outs. Man, shout out to your people, you know what I'm saying? You get your ex, you know hey, what I'm man. saying? Long live see the dreads, long live mighty, long live corn, free long way, free ranch, free all my people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the hood. Hey, nigga trying to get it. That mud baby foe for the drop. Yeah, make sure y'all cop that. You know? Shit ain't really too much. You know what I'm saying? Say, nah, it ain't too many. I, with the shout outs, shit, everybody already know, like, I'm for I'm I'm for it all. You get what I'm saying? Well, shit. Whatever they with, I'm with. Well, shout out to the motherfucking wax town. Yeah, you know shout what out saying? to the You know what I'm shout talking about? Shout out to that mug. Shout out to the motherfucking triple D and everybody in it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in between. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, hey say hey. Shout out to all my viewers. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my motherfucking media medical people out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Vibe. You know what I'm saying? TV. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy T Hawk. You know what I'm saying? Coming in and blessing this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Mud box for in, in your motherfucking goddamn presence. You know what I'm talking about? And I am getting blessed with this lovely, 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 lovely. So stay stay tuned to another motherfucking episode. And I'm about <laughs> this motherfucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit But I always knew that I would be